Hello everybody and welcome to GameSpot Presents Now Playing. It's Sean and Sophia and today, as you can tell by the smiling, joyous sack boy behind me, we're going to show you a little bit of Little Big Planet 2, a big upcoming Sony exclusive set for release in January. Sophia, thanks for joining me. Thank you. I'm really excited. The last time I saw this was during the beta. During the beta, that's yes. right, which you showed on the uh, Halloween episode of Today on the Spot, right? Right. We played through some custom levels, but now we're going to play through the story mode from the beginning. Aspect. Let's get it started right here. Um, we've played uh, basically the first 10 seconds of the game, <laughs> so uh, we're going to be head running. Start. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a head start going on here. So uh, just like the original Little Big Planet, uh, this one kicks off with a sort of tutorial sequence that also doubles as the opening credits, giving you a little, uh, a little look at every, how everything works and some of the, uh, the faces of the people who work <laughs> over at Media Molecule, the developer. Looks good and sounds good. Yeah, exactly. And as you can tell, Stephen Fry is back as the narrator, so anybody who's a fan of his work will be happy to see that he has returned once more. And it's, you know, the game starts out, like I said, just like the first one, gives you a basic rundown of how everything works. First, it shames you for being naked. <laughs> I'm like, what is he doing back there? <laughs> so yeah, it's going to give you a little, uh, yeah. Basic, uh... Same controls, feels the same. Feels, I mean, the, uh, the platforming is a little bit tighter than the first one. Mm -hmm. It's still very much a, a physics platformer where you have a strong sense of momentum and interaction with the world. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it feels a little bit tighter. It's still got those three planes of movement like the original did. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's still very much Little Big Planet. Which, you know, anybody who loved the first game is not going to tell you that's a bad thing. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Yeah, and once again, a very distinct, charming art style, which is uh, one of the big strengths of the first <laughs> game. Yeah, I like how everything's always handmade. It looks like it is. Oh, hey! So they, these are some of the um, a little box. a little tease at the AI sack box that you can uh, unlock and use your own in your own custom levels. Uh, we should probably mention that, you know. The Little Big Planet 2 beta has been out for quite a while now, but that's sort of a showcase of the community-driven stuff. This is a, um, and while it's definitely a, a community-focused game, this is, uh, our now playing is going to be focused on the, uh, the, you know, the beginning of the story, because uh, it looks like they've expanded it quite a bit since the last game. making him sad. It's telling me to, it's Stephen Fry, he's telling me to, to do smiley faces and whatnot. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh no, so sad. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it just wouldn't be the same without Stephen Fry. Exactly. You can also get jiggy and shake your sack booty by waving the wireless controller around. Am I getting? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, the headbang. Getting jiggy. <laughs> oh god, it looks like he's having a seizure. <laughs> You're not doing it right. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Look at him. He's so he feels so tortured to be dancing like that. All right, here we and go. And notice how we're only playing single player so we don't spend the entire time trying to slap each other. That's right. Um four player co-op does return, but we're doing single player for the sake of limiting griefing. All right, so here we go. The actual story is about to kick off with what can only be described alien invasion as a potential <laughs> alien invasion. Let's Whoa. see what's going on here. There's actually a bit of audio, so we'll we'll quiet down for a minute. Okay. Some dialogue is about to load up in a second here. An ancient evil stirs to threaten the very survival of the cosmos. They call it the Negativatron. <laughs> but what can stop the unstoppable? This world needs only one thing. It needs a hero. Shoshavalon. 
One man, devilishly handsome, impossibly statuesque, the only hope. Stop it! I say, Sackboy, you were barely lucky to escape the Negativatron out there. Yeah, lucky I was on the lookout, that is. Out you get. My name is... I am Avalon Centrifuge. Indeed you are, old man. And my name is... Um... Ah, Larry Da Vinci. And... Craft World is in grave peril. Together we, the Alliance, shall defeat the Negativatron. Avalon, please! You never let me do that bit. Well, I'm the best at it. Hey, Slick. Da Vinci's gonna put you through your paces to see if you're worthy of the Alliance. We shall not be defeated. <laughs> hey, see you soon, Ace. I'm out of here. Hurry back. I should do this on my own, I really should. But never mind that. You'll be needing something to get around Craft World safely. I present to you your pod. Oh, for the. Why does this. Oh, ah. <laughs> I present to you your pod. Up you trot, there's a good fellow. I need to make sure you're match fit for the Alliance. <laughs> Just one or two simple experiments, uh, tests. See you in a tick. All right, so. Is that your new pod? That is my <laughs> new pod, and that gives you guys a little, uh, a little glimpse at how the story starts. So, um, you know, basic your... summary. You run into a guy named Larry Da Vinci, you run into another guy named Avalon Centrifuge, which, by the way, possibly the coolest name of all time. I don't know, it's definitely up there. And uh, yeah, you're working for the Alliance, and you're trying to take down this thing called the Negativatron, I think it was. Yeah, so, um, and, and the basic idea of how it moves forward from there is um, you sort of progress through um, 40 different story levels, and it's all sort of historically bent. And you move from, at the beginning, you're sort of in uh, Da Vinci's renaissance type setting. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, they said there's like six different themed worlds. Yeah, different there. different theme worlds, different sort of stages of history. So, um, so yeah, the pod is back. As you can tell, you've got little, uh, little sack boy down mimicking my um, inputs on the control sticks. And we're going to go ahead and get started on a proper story level. Can we start in Africa again like last time? <laughs> no. no, we're going to start in uh, apparently a level called Rookie Test, which Larry Da Vinci has kindly set up for us. Think of it like a handy map. Are you going to try to get all the goodies? I am going to get, I mean, it's going to be painful to watch if I search out every nook and cranny for all those um, all those goodies. All those but I'll try. I'll, I'll get the I'll get the big ones. I'll get the obvious ones. The really ones. obvious ones. The really <laughs> obvious ones. So I, <laughs> Larry Da Vinci. I don't. Does he follow you? He yeah. He he's, he's following me for the time being at least. But I just he's look at that guy. Stalkerish. <laughs> just slightly. So we're going through it's some just glasses. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that he looks like a cardboard lion hobo. I think. <laughs> With 3D glasses. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so it's giving us a, a, a basic tutorial of how things work. So it's showing me how to navigate through the three different planes in the world. Those are clearly back. Let's see. Score bubbles. It's teaching me about the score bubbles. So, yep, these guys are back as well. And, um, yeah. Get get a lot of score bubbles in a small amount of time for a multi multiplier, and then prize bubbles, which my favorite thing in the game. Yay, more stuff! So you should mention like the stuff from the first game will carry over to this one as well. Yeah, the the um, costumes and DLC, it's all backwards compatible. Levels are back backwards compatible as well. So if you spent um, 
all that money and getting all those costumes, and there were certainly a lot of costumes, yeah. then you're, uh, you're not out of luck. They will work in Little Big Planet, too. Sweet. Mm -hmm. In fact, now that, speaking of costumes, why don't I dress up my guy? He's looking a little plain here. So, what would be good? I like the fez hat. The mustache. Mustache is good. I'm going to give him a big old set of chompers. I'm going to give him fins. Yeah, flippers. And a, a shield and sword. I'm going to give him some red pants. Do I want to give him necklace? That? Oh gosh, wings? Dress? I'll give him wings. And, your and a tutu. A I think, yeah. <laughs> That's a, that's a, oh, do I want the queen? I think he's well dressed yeah. Quicker than you can say, mummy, I've just burst at the seams. All right, it's telling me, it's teaching me about the retry button. Oh, yeah. If you ever get stuck and just want to yeah. <laughs> give up. But just to really zoom in on my masterwork here, that is just a thing of beauty, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, jeez. Do I want to give him the foam hand, paintbrush? That's cute. It's like oh. a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, stickers. Still look better than Larry, I must say. <laughs> Larry, he's got his he's certainly got his charm. <laughs> he's right. a little creepy. <laughs> just, yeah, just a little bit. Alright, so it's teaching me about stickers now. I'm gonna pop that sticker on and Oh yeah, there's some new mechanics and gadgets that have been added too. That's right. We'll actually get a look at those in a couple minutes here, but right now it's it's kind of, you know, the tutorial's focusing on the real basic stuff for the time being. Oh, so many stickers. So many score bubbles. Oh, what's this? See, now if I was playing right now, I'd just be following you and just stickering. <laughs> face. Ooh. Bouncy pads. Yep, little well, bouncy pads. Oh, even more bouncy pads. All right. Oh, oh across all the planes. Fancy. <gasps> oh, gosh. Fitting, given that you're wearing a tutu. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Although the, the wings. The flips are kind of cool. Yeah. You do some serious acrobatics there. All right. I got all of them. Oh, job, so man. many. <laughs> Just for the, in order to keep this watchable, I'm not going to go after all these scoring bubbles because at the end of the day, keeping it fun to watch is a lot more important than me getting the maximum top score by the end of it. Lots of bubbles. Sweet new object. I like the layout. I know. It's, uh, you know, like I said, very Renaissance themed. It's like, basically, I think... The theme is Leo's or Larry's workshop. <laughs> Can't call him Leo. Leo, no. <laughs> All right, we're complete. Hey yo! Big oh, smiles. Oh. Got belly dancer here. Ooh, nice. Oh, what did I get? Oh, so many new items. Yay! And I can use it all to create your own level. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> but uh, as we mentioned before, this is a very community-driven game. There's also a huge level editor, and that's probably where the, the vast bulk of the game is going to be. So if you haven't checked out the Little Big Planet 2 beta yet, definitely look, look for some videos on the site or on YouTube or whatever. It's kind of crazy, the types <laughs> yeah, of videos, or the types of levels people can make. Yeah, so January 18th, you'll be able to get your own copy. So thanks for watching. All right, so long, everybody, and make sure to come back uh, over the next couple days this week. We've got a number of other now playings happening on the site, so make sure to come back, and again, thanks for watching.